Welcome everyone to IDB. Spark is a fantastic email client that has so far lived only on iOS. It has now made the jump from iPhone and iPad to the Mac, including new touch bar support for the MacBook Pro. Spark is great because it allows you not only just Google or Exchange, it has a whole host of options of different email clients that you can use to sign up. It'll even sync those accounts and settings across all your devices using iCloud. Once you're logged in, you will see a familiar interface if you have used this before on your iPhone or iPad. And many of those same great features that were on iPhone, iPad, and even Apple Watch are here still on Mac. There are a lot of common features that we've seen from other ones. There's a list down the left hand side of all your different folders that you can jump to, your inbox and your snooze folders. You can swipe across messages to go to different things. So I can swipe far to the right and mark it as or unread, swipe far to the left to trash it or archive it depending on your settings. And you can even configure all of those inside of the settings itself. So you don't have to just use the ones that come out of the box. And in fact, those should still sync over iCloud to your iPhone and iPad. Along the top, you have many common functions such as snoozing, which will move it into that snoozed folder there on the left, as well as other things like pinning and marking it as unread. One of my favorite features of Spark has always been the Smart Inbox. It'll actually break everything down similar to Inbox from Google, but here I have my newsletters on the top and my standard inbox below that. So I can go ahead and mark everything inside of uh, newsletters as one thing. I can also quick reply to messages. I really like this. There's quick reply in other apps, but they do it really prettily. I love that I can choose a little emoji or something to go with it. And of course I can save and configure all those in settings. There's also undo. So if anything you do, whether it's moving something to a folder or sending an email, I have a few seconds to undo whatever action it is that I just took. And the interface is just really nice and a joy to use. Inside of settings, there's a lot of things that you can change other than the basics like your email client. You can change those swipe actions, so what you want to do when you swipe across. You can obviously have multiple accounts. Signatures are a really nice handy thing to add. And even in your smart inbox, you can choose what to do based on different accounts. You can go in and choose your folders, how long you want your snoozes to be by default, customize all those quick replies that we looked at before, and enable badges on the app icon to let you know how many unread messages that you have. And of course you can come in here and choose your shortcuts for all those quick things that you need to do. As I mentioned, I just really like the interface of Spark. It is really intuitive, a joy to use, and it keeps things clean and simple. I love this little show history button to go down and see all my past conversations, and even when I reply with an emoji. Smart notifications are also a really great unique feature. It'll only alert me to things that I may want to know. It's not going to alert me about a sale or a newsletter, but it will alert me when someone I know has sent me a message. That way it's something I know is going to be more important. And so far in testing, this has been a really, really useful feature, only alerting me for the things that I know I'm going to care about. If you do click on one of those emails or those notifications that pop up, you still have a full featured interface without opening the full app. I still wish there was a quick reply from the notification itself, but there is still a lot you can do inside of that message without having to open the full blown application. As I mentioned, it also comes with touch bar support, which is great this early, but you can do things like sending a message once you've actually crafted a message, as well as a ton of other features that I actually feel work really well on the touch bar for email clients. So on the left, I have that create new email. I have reply, which isn't just reply, it's also reply, reply all and forward that message. I can pin a message and of course all these can be undone with another tap of the touch bar or on screen. I can mark anything as unread. I can snooze it for later, move it to a specific folder or archive it. Hitting dot 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 allows me more options such as throw it in the trash or even print it. So are you guys a fan of Spark? Let us know down in the comments below and you can download it from the link in the description. Go ahead and subscribe until next time. This is Andrew for IDB.